Peanut and cotton producers got an opportunity to see the most up-to-date research on the two crops in the fields at the University of Georgia's Tifton campus. The event also gave growers the chance to speak directly to those conducting the research to make sure they make the right decisions for their farms. Here's the story from the Monitor's Mark Wileman. The Georgia Peanut Commission along with the Georgia Cotton Commission sponsored the Cotton and Peanut Research Field Day that brought producers to the UGA campus in Tifton to see the latest research on the two crops. We've seen a multitude of uh, scientists, uh, you know, all the disciplines, pest management, uh, agronomic production, so it's an opportunity for our participants on the field day to actually see the research as it's being conducted. Tour was at the Lang Rigdon farm and gave producers an opportunity to have dialogue with the research leaders right out in the fields. Our scientists, uh, you know, have objectives uh, when they design these research trials, but in many situations, this interaction we're able to have uh, with our producers on the tour will actually give our scientists new ideas uh, and let our scientists know that, hey, this is uh, an issue that our producers are facing. So. Uh, plus they can get answers, you know, and uh, that's what we're here for is to help provide uh, educational information for our producers so they can be profitable. There are advancements in cotton and peanuts every year, and the two crop commissions understand the importance of good research. We appreciate what the university system does for peanuts, and not only that, the peanut farmers and their efforts through the Georgia Peanut Commission to have research trials. and. We appreciate the land-grant college for us still having our seed production uh, through the land-grant colleges. I think that's most important and let's not have a high price seed uh, and tech fees that the producer has to pay in so far as peanuts is concerned. Research is kind of a, of a, of a difficult issue sometimes. Uh, you have to take a lot of time to find maybe incremental gains, but everything we do is geared towards enhancing the producer's efficiency and improving his bottom line so they can remain competitive. With the leading variety of cotton about to be taken off the market, Georgia cotton producers have hard decisions to make. And those decisions are easier made when you can see side-by-side -side comparisons of varieties in the field. We've gone from basically a one uh, variety where 85 percent of the state's acres are planted in one variety. It'll no longer be available after the 2010 planting season. Uh, and farmers are going to have to em uh, embrace new technologies, new varieties, and part of what we're trying to do with this day and our educational program is, is get that information out to the farmers so they can identify what varieties work better and what locations on their farms. Good research is not free, and money provided by the Cotton and Peanut Commissions goes a long way in the fields and is greatly appreciated by those who conduct it. Absolutely. In fact, it starts with the producer. It's their checkoff dollars. And every penny that we use to do this research is funds that we receive from the Georgia Cotton Commission, or in our case, Peanuts, the Georgia Peanut Commission. They completely fund our programs. Uh, we, in turn, utilize those funds as carefully and as judiciously as we can. They put a lot of trust in us to do the right things with that money, and we take that trust seriously. In talking with producers, they feel that the money spent on research is some of the best money spent because all of the work here directly benefits them and the consumer. In Tifton, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.